Hi everyone, my name is Rajashekar. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be exploring the integration of Unreal Engine's virtual set inside Axiometry program. Axiometry is another great piece of program which you can use for virtual production. Before bringing the virtual set inside Axiometry, there are few settings which needs to be uh, taken care. We will look into those to begin with. We are still pending with Unreal Engine's uh, composure and the process of outputting it to a video. We will be exploring that in future series. To start with, these are the requirements if you wish to shoot a video like this. You need a DSLR camera, green screen, capture card, Unreal editor for Axiometry. So this is a separate version of Unreal Engine offered by Axiometry itself. So you need to have this downloaded from their website and have it installed. And the second would be your Axiometry DE Composer program. There are two versions of Axiometry. One is SC and DE. SC is your standalone using which you will not be able to get connected to Unreal Engine. So make sure to have the DE version downloaded and installed. So that's uh, pretty much the requirements. Let's get started. Once you're ready, start Unreal Editor for Axiometry. Load any virtual set of your choice. I'm going to demonstrate using the subway train map which we used before. The very first step would be to locate player start position and move it away, push it all the way down and make sure it's not anywhere near the camera or facing the camera. The next step is adding a virtual camera. You can do that by going to Axiometry menu on the top, add camera and choose the very first option, virtual camera, 1-3 billboards. Choose yes. The position of camera is not important as it will be controlled primarily inside Axiometry. So we'll leave it as it is. And the next step is to save your level, file, save current level as, inside content, choose any name of your choice and I'm choosing VP demo that's done and let's get inside edit project settings in the project settings on the tops type map make sure both the editor startup map and the game default map is pointing to the map file which you saved so in my case it's VP demo I'm also changing this to VP demo that's done this is important Next is search for custom depth and change the option from enable to enable with stencil. Search for planar and put a tick mark for support global clip plane for planar reflections. Okay, it would re request you to restart the engine. Let's do it later. So there's one more important setting which you need to do. Search for mode. The default game mode is set to game mode. Click on the plus symbol next to it. Choose new game mode one, any name of your choice. You can save it anywhere. I'm currently uh, leaving it as default. Hit save. The default pawn class should be changed to none. This is the only setting which you need to do in modes. Close it out. Close the project settings. Save all. And restart your Unreal Engine once. We are back after restarting the engine. So the settings are in place. Now the final step would be to prepare this Unreal project for Axiometry. To do that, go to Axiometry and click on Cook Content for Axiometry DE. I've done this process already, so it's going to take few minutes for me. In your case, it could take longer. Give some time, it would take approx one to four hours anywhere, depending on your computer speed. Once the cooking uh, content process is done, you'll have the message like this. It would show you a tick mark. And if you go to output uh, log, you will have the message build successful. So wait for this message to appear. So those are the steps which needs to be done with an Unreal Engine. And we have also prepared the project for Axiometry. You no longer need Unreal Engine, you can close it out. Let's fire up Axiometry program. So the very first time when you open Axiometry, you'll get to see a screen like this. Depending on the number of monitors you have, you'll have a number here. In my case, I have two. You will also have option to choose your graphics card. If you have more than one, then you can pick your graphics card here. You can very well change the resolution for each and every monitor you have. Every other settings associated with your uh, project. At this point of time, I'm not changing anything. Starting it right away. The axiometry is ready. Uh, let's begin by clicking on File, New, Compound. The first step would be to import your Unreal Engine project file inside axiometry. So locate your project file. In my case, it's here. Drag and drop your U project file inside Axiometry. Let's give some time for it to load. It's ready. 
let's create a virtual camera to create a virtual camera click on this common studio and just type unreal look for virtual cam unreal ab preview 3 cam this is what we are looking for select drag and drop it so we have the virtual camera as well a quick tip on navigating the space use your scroll to zoom in zoom out press and hold on the middle button to move with these two elements in place let's add a green screen so in my case i'm going to directly sync my camera to axiometry or you can either use a stock footage let's look for a green screen element by going to common and we'll go to videos green and uh, pick any or anything of your choice i'm going to choose this green bisa medium drag and drop it these are the three elements which are required for us to get started let's quickly look into the connections we'll begin by connecting the unreal engine map out to rendered of virtual camera b mask to b mask and the green screen out goes to test input one and the next step we'll have to make connection from here to here not the other way please remember that so we'll do that from cam transform to cam transform cam horizontal fov to horizontal fov focus distance to cam focus distance b1 data to b1 data b1 texture to b1 texture ao texture reflection texture and shadow texture so that's pretty much uh, the connections which you need to do so all i did is connected from this to the same name on the unreal engine map okay so from cam transform until b1 shadow texture with this done let's zoom in this is your output board well, let's connect the preview over here you okay over here as soon as you connect this you can see your unreal engine map is up let's make the uh, preview a little bigger you can also maximize its size okay let me keep something like this at this point of time we are uh, outside the uh, train that's why you know you're not able to see much so to change uh, the camera go to camera on the top so these are all the controls of camera we'll get to it shortly click on this mouse symbol so how to navigate this scene same as before hold your middle mouse button to move up and down and right click to move left and right scroll to zoom in and zoom out okay so let me get inside the train okay as you can see i'm inside the train already and to turn left or right you can hold the left mouse button and you're seeing a device not found message this is nothing but your camera feed or your stock uh, image which hasn't been linked yet let's go to billboards zoom in and move a bit we'll focus only on the uh, input one panels which is on the stop row so in the input one box click on test to see your uh, camera or sequence uh, preview the moment you click on it this is a stock uh, image which we imported from the left panel i'll go to flow so if you notice this was the uh, stock image element which we dragged and dropped back to billboards to switch to the live camera feed click on this input box next to the input device click on this drop down arrow and choose your camera before you even choose your camera make sure your camera is turned on and connected i've chosen my camera and to switch uh, to my uh, video output i need to click on this test and the moment you click test if you happen to see a color bar like this it means your camera is in standby mode let me release it okay so my camera is uh, ready so if you click on this test again it switches to the previous input which is your chroma uh, stock footage to switch back click on test again to reposition this um, element zoom in click on billboard and in billboard next to transformation this is your x y z put a number here i'll move this it's going farther away let me bring it here by typing giving a negative value okay so here it is and i can push it slightly behind you can also position your camera as required we'll first focus on the keying and then we'll resize the uh, element to key out your green screen let's begin by going to input nothing to change here much so let's go to cropped if you want to crop you can use your left and right to crop off the unwanted uh, element there 
slightly adjust right top and the bottom so that's it about cropping and let's go to key the moment you click on key it's already keyed in with the default value and let's look into the uh, mat uh, we are seeing a final composite to see a mat click on keyed and choose mat so that you'll have a clear picture on what you're keying out so let's begin by tweaking the low cut and the high cut that's your mat it's looking good uh, nothing more to change here mm, I'll switch to input and uh, to see the final out click on final so that's about the keying we also have options to adjust the brightness contrast and other values do that by going to adjuster and you have brightness contrast and so on and so forth will slightly increase the brightness 1.1 maybe or 1.2 okay not much that's about uh, adjuster the visibility one box is like turning on and off your um, element you can change the orientation of your uh, element by going to crop and uh, turning on your portrait on and off however you want let's go to billboard and let's reduce the size of this element and in in the billboard in the scale i'll set this to 0.5 okay 0.5 looks okay let me drop it to 0.4 okay we have reduced the element size let me uh, place myself here to move the element around you can either use the values over here or click on this uh, three axis gizmo and choose preview one and you can reposition using the handles which is given here i'll have to move it on the z now okay there you go i'll place myself in this chair uh, you can adjust the uh, ao by moving the handle as you can see the shadow is getting updated the contact is getting updated make sure it's exactly on the ground and to adjust your uh, let's imagine this is your uh, feet you can play with the uh, lift parameter to bring it up or down and hold your left click and move up and down to increment or decrement your value slightly so i'm repositioning myself on the chair zooming in still bigger i think i need to reduce the size of my okay so rotate the camera slightly go to the left i can drop the size to one more uh, time okay so that uh, looks better gives an impression as if i'm sitting on the chair now that we have finalized the uh, placement next step would be to add a camera move in this situation i cannot have a camera move like this it will be very odd because i've shot only a little bit of myself so the best would be to uh, do a camera move from the rear so let me plan a shot like that let's begin by giving some camera movement to do that go to cameras and we are primarily focused only on the cam 1 right now cam 2 and 3 are other sources which haven't connected anything camera 1 path on the top this yellow box which you see it stores all your camera moves we have 16 uh, shots we'll just do one shot and let it be saved to the number 1 here and if you look below we have a camera and render setup the mouse like symbol is your free form movement we're going to edit the camera path now before we do that click on this camera symbol and click on this cross mark to delete the existing camera animation so we have two uh, positions of camera point a and b let's delete the b as well click on a and let's give the uh, first position i'm going to start uh, somewhere from here and let's click on b b is here uh, let me bring it to the point where i want the camera to end so adjusting the camera b position i think this would be fine so this is my a and this is my b once it's ready click on this play symbol and it plays your camera move so the camera movement is on uh, it's doing back and forth because you have these options selected you can click on this to stop the back and forth movement this will repeat the cycle and this will do back and forth and when you click on this cross mark it will delete your uh, camera uh, moves which you saved right now to increase the speed of the shot click on this camera path and adjust the master speed slider slightly speed of the shot
And if you don't want the shot to loop, click on the circle, deselect it. Now the shot will finish and stay. To play the shot again, stop and click play again. We have the composite, we have the camera movements in place. Now the next step would be to output this to a video. To output this to a video, go to flow and let's try to add one more node here. So in common studio, look for a record and drag and drop this record 3 audio into your flow window. Disconnect your preview and the out. Connect your preview to record a preview. Connect your out from the virtual camera to out. And the preview from here goes to the right side panel, out goes to out as well. Drag a connection from record started of record to restart cam of virtual cam. Why we are doing this? Because every time you start a record, you want the camera position to be reset and start from the top. And that brings us to the end of this video. We have seen the workflow of integrating Unreal Engine's virtual set with an axiometry. With this knowledge, you will be able to do a similar uh, composite on your end and you'll be able to add extensive camera moves as well and then output it to a final video. We haven't explored much, lot to perfect in terms of lighting and adding many other elements. We'll keep exploring this series. This will help you to get started and experiment. Hope you found this useful. Do subscribe to the channel, do share it to your friends and family who would be interested to learn basics of DMX and virtual production which we're exploring right now. See you all soon in another video. I'm Raj Shekhar. Take care. Bye.